Campus are also at risk. Churches are pulling together to keep the homeless warm and alive in this deadly cold winter weather. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in Ferndale at Renaissance Vineyard Church. Matt, I would imagine they get busier and busier as, as the temperature drops each day. Absolutely. They had 60 some people the day before last night. They actually welcomed in 75 or so people, men and women that just really need to get out of that bitter cold. You know, a lot of them actually just jumped on a bus a little bit ago and they're heading to a day warming shelter. But what they're doing inside here, it's saving lives. People really just need to come in and get warm. If you're out there for hours, it just changes your perspective, I think. Too cold. We've all heard about cold weather dangers from frostbite all the way to death. This is the weather it happens in, which is why when the weather gets real bad, this church turns into a temporary warming center. If we're not here, where else would they be? Jim Poole, the lead pastor here, says they've been pushing the pews aside, rolling out mats, and cooking warm meals all week. During the day, it seems like a normal church outside, save this old sign. But late last night, I'm told 75 men and women went inside for help. They're not people very different from us. Poole says the church has been doing this for years, part of a program where churches throughout the metro team up with the South Oakland Warming Center as a last chance catch-all to house the homeless. And while some years are colder than others, Poole says when it's this cold, like this week, the need is obvious. I think with the weather, there's just a strong need, you know. There's, there are always, we find people that um, really have a need for help. Now, I just talked to one of the volunteers out here that helps them with the resource. We want to bring the cameras indoors. It's early. The few that are left behind I don't want to put them on live television. Uh, they, they already dealt with a very cold day yesterday and, and sleeping last night inside the warming shelter. We're going to talk to some folks and we'll have that story for you a little bit later in the day and at WXYZ.com as well when they're willing to talk with us. But for now, we're live in Ferndale. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. Matthew, thank you. And the city of Detroit is also looking for help keeping the homeless warm in these brutally cold temperatures. 7 Action News reporter Shelly Childers joins us now live this morning to explain what we all can do to help out. Shelly? Yeah, that's right. You just heard Matt talk about how awful it is in Ferndale, those bitter cold temperatures across southeast Michigan. Well, now the city of Detroit is also stepping up. They're teaming up with local organizations like Detroit Rescue Mission Ministries to try to hit the streets this week and to reach as many homeless as they can. Now, Action News has been on the streets this week, riding along with volunteers to show you just how many people still need help. Now, some we found living in tents. They don't want to go to a shelter, but they do still need items like hats, gloves and socks to survive and others did gladly accept the help that uh, we found with volunteers during our ride along. Now those volunteers say they need more people on the streets to get involved. We all need help out here and, and they need more people than just us to be able to help the homeless population out here in the city of Detroit. Uh, they call cash community services. We have so in addition to warming centers and the current outreach, Detroit is coordinating expanded volunteer assisted canvassing and that's happening tonight and tomorrow tonight. It is from six o'clock through midnight and that's happening at the Detroit Rescue Mission Ministries Hall at 138 Stimson. Volunteers are meeting there at that location and then they're going to break out and ride across the city in teams. They can also they're also asking for your donations. What they really need, as I mentioned before, are hats, gloves and socks to help the homeless get through these terrible, terrible temperatures. Whether they do decide to stay outside or go into a shelter, they still need this winter gear. We have all the information on how and where you can donate on our website at WXYZ.com. Reporting live, Shelley Childer, 7 Action News.